Wine lovers, it's Friday night, it's cocktail hour, and you accidentally bought the bottle that doesn't come with a screw cap. What are you gonna do? Break into a cold sweat? No, 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 I've got you. Today, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to open up a wine bottle in five seconds flat. Hi, wine lovers, I'm Erin, the founder and chief sommelier here at the Wine Sisters. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is the place where every week we show you how to eat, drink, and entertain like a pro. So if we want to get to drinking and entertaining, we best be knowing how to open up a wine bottle. But sometimes being a sommelier, you're a little bit too close to the forest to see the trees, a little too close to the bar to see the wine bottles. And it's come to my attention that opening up a wine bottle that's sealed with a cork kind of freaks some people out that not everybody is super comfortable doing it. In fact, this whole segment has been inspired by a friend of mine. I was over at his house for dinner the other night, asked him to open up the wine, and he came back with one of these. Hmm? Now I'm sure all of you have some of these sitting in your cupboard somewhere. Maybe you even use them on the regular and probably you're wondering how exactly they work. Well, you wanna know what you do with these things? I'm gonna show you right now. That's what you do with those. Instead, to open up a wine bottle efficiently, cleanly, professionally, and to look like you really know what you're doing, you actually are gonna use something that's called the waiter's corkscrew. Some people might even call it a wine key. I call it the waiter's corkscrew. But what we've got here is a very simple apparatus. It's got the corkscrew, of course, that's gonna be handy. We've got a handle and you've got the two levers. I'm gonna show you so easily how you do it. So to our bottle, you wanna take out your knife. Hopefully this has a serrated blade. Hopefully it's something that's a little bit sharp. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut it under this second lip. A lot of people make the mistake of cutting it at this top lip. That's not what you want to do. You want to cut it under here. Cutting it at the top lip means that it's going to get a, catch a lot of the wine and actually add a little bit more spills. And historically, way back in the day, these foils were actually made of lead. And when you caught your wine in there and then poured it into the glass, I don't know if you know this, but uh, drinking out of lead, not a good thing. So we cut under the second lip. I'm left-handed, so obviously I'll do it with my left hand. You do it with whatever hand you are most comfortable with. All you wanna do, thumb on one side, knife securely against the bottle, is you just wanna give it a nice little twist, just like this. Some places will keep it very formal so that they're not moving the bottle at all. You do you. So we've got a really nice, clean cut happening here. And then all you need to do is you drag the knife upwards, creating this little horizontal slit, because what you're then going to do is you're going to use the knife as a little bit of leverage to pop off that foil really nice and clean, and it comes off in one clean swoop, so you've got this nice little neck here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pointy end of the corkscrew, it's really the only end of the corkscrew, and just slightly off center, and so that your corkscrew is almost horizontal, you put it down into the cork and you just twist until you're about one swirly curly cue away. So you've got this. Now what you're going to do with your top lever, up it comes. And then with your bottom lever, you gently take out the rest. You wanna pull straight up to the ceiling. You don't wanna yank it to the side cause that will make you break the cork. And then hear that? Just the sigh of a little kiss, a little happy kiss as the cork comes out you just remove it from the bottle. And there you have a very clean, easy peasy bottle ready to drink. Friends, I hope you really liked this. If you did and if you found it useful, please share this video with your wine loving friends. And you might even wanna consider giving us a like and a subscribe. Of course, if you have any questions on proper wine service or anything to do with eating, drinking and entertaining, leave them in the comments below and I promise I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You also might wanna consider signing up for our newsletter that comes out every Tuesday with very helpful hints delivered directly to your inbox. But until next week, friends, my name's Erin from the Wine Sisters. Stay well, drink better.